let's do some couching today. So I have my couched thread. I'm using two ply for that. So when I couch, I like to come up at like a sharp angle. It's actually a pretty interesting shape to couch because you get to practice curvy lines and you get to practice some sharp angles. Okay, so I am at a couch with a single ply. And so what I'm going to do, also obviously, I mean, I have two needles going on. If you're able to manage that and not get all tangly, I would suggest it. This is probably another one where if you have a hoop stand, you're going to appreciate it. So I'm just going to come up along this line and tack this thread down. So it's up to you how close you want all those little tacky stitches to be. Um, I think you, you might, well, I don't know. I was trying to think what the fewest number would be, but let's just do this. Okay. So one tricky thing is like, do I come up exactly on the line, the guideline and go exactly down in the same hole? I don't know. Let's see. seemed fine. Okay, let's do that again. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I need to come up like to the right of the guideline and go down on the left of the guideline. And then I get a little bit off my guideline. This seems to be a much more accurate way of doing it, huh? So the nice part about using a single strand to do the couching is it's it's almost invisible, right? I mean, it's really hard to see it. So here's my trick. This is what I do. So when I have sharp corners, I cheat. I just go down at the corners because I find that if I tack there, it's really hard to, um, like the, the line's going to be a little bit curved and I don't want it a little bit curved. How's that looking? I think it looks okay. If you pull too tight on the thread that's getting couched, it's obviously going to start pulling and you don't want that. All right, so obviously I can't come back up where I just went down. So I will actually I can come up here. This one's kind of a cheater one because look, it's like I don't really need to. I don't even need to tack anything down. We're, we're, I guess this is just going to be a straight stitch right there. Sorry, I've got my two. Oh, sorry, I thought I heard the donkey and I was getting excited. Okay, um, I have my two different strands hanging out the back of my hoop and I wanted to make sure. All right, so I'm going to not talk for a sec so I can come up this hole. All right, it's not working. We'll come up this hole. That one's easier. And then where's my other one? It's a little bit of a juggling situation, clearly. We could probably get away with just doing straight stitches here too, but we're supposed to be practicing couching stitch, so we're going to try. Right, and then back down. And I'll do the same on this side. to the guideline here in a sec. I'm just going to come back up here where I still have this in my hand. Where'd you go? Here we go. Just talking to my thread. I wish I could see. 
see what I'm doing. It's so tiny. <sighs> but luckily that means no one else can see either. All right, so this will be going down here. All right, my, my glass looks a little drunk. I'm not, I don't, did it look like that before I started? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so for fun, I just wanted to show you uh, doing this little orange slice. So I'm using a full strand for this. And then let's see, what do I have here? How many needle I got? It's like two strands, two strands of this lighter. I don't know, what is this yellow? And so I am going to count this guy. Oops, what have I done? Oh, uh, okay, we're okay. <laughs> I'm feeling around in the back and there's some stuff back there. I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's never good. So again, tension is going to be super important when doing these. You're just guiding the thread, letting it know where you'd like it to lay down. Just real gentle. We're not forcing anybody to do anything they don't want to do. Like when you're hanging out with a toddler or something, we're just gentle. Make them think it was their idea. So now I'm going to go back down here it's scary not knowing if I'm pulling on anything I shouldn't be on the back okay so there's my cute little orange slice and if you want to fit in the little straight stitches here that would also be super cute, right? There's a lot of opportunity for cuteness here. I'll show you here what I did on mine. I did, um, so I ended up filling, which is some straight stitches. And then I did the umbrella, but I love the straw. I did like one of those stripey straws with whip backstitch. So cute. Ah, okay. Have fun.